let's now speak to Otoa Tufuna, who is a teacher here in Nairobi, Kenya. Thank you so much for joining us, Otoa. Well, let's just speak about this debate because just, it, when you go on social media and yes. when this just got passed, we were seeing so many people commenting. Just give us a little bit about what your stand on the issue is when it comes to corporal punishment. Uh, I think, honestly speaking, uh, I, as a teacher, I, I think uh, corporal punishment is uh, totally uh, outlawed. It is uh, inhuman, if you did ask my honest opinion. Yes, as a teacher, we grew up uh, being punished. But uh, in psychology, there is what we call negative re reinforcement. When you beat or you subject this particular student to corporal punishment, which in most cases involves very inhuman uh, forms of uh, administering punishment, the student cannot actually uh, give positive uh, uh, feedback. And so I, as a teacher, I have established that when I use uh, uh, corporal punishment, and we used to use it uh, uh, in the past before the Teacher Service Commission uh, totally eradicated it. Right now, if any teacher engages in this uh, uh, inhuman act of uh, brutally punishing a student so that he or she wants a positive uh, uh, response from that particular student, you even stand a risk of being interdicted. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, out of my research and experience in the uh, 15 years or so of teaching, I think uh, corporal punishment does not produce results. Mm -hmm. So Atoa, I think where a lot of this debate is going is that when it comes to what you've just said about corporal punishment in the schools, yes. there seems to be, there seems to be general consensus that, that is completely out. Where the debate is coming in is about the parents yes. spanking their children at home. Yeah. What are you hearing from parents saying about this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, parents uh, and, and parents are actually a divided lot. There is a parent who will come to school to pursue a disciplinary case of uh, his or her, uh, uh, her child and say, Malimu, beat this daughter, beat this son for me. But the question I always ask them, why are you not beating them? We are in a very uh, different legal dispensation. Uh, human rights awareness uh, uh, dispensation. And, and so, uh, so far, uh, many of my colleague teachers have even faced serious legal ba uh, battles because uh, of, of, of spanking uh, children at school. Uh, as we speak now, the Teacher Service Commission has interdicted quite a number of uh, students. So, uh, yes, the, 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 parents, uh, the parents are highly divided. And um, uh, when they come to school to pursue a disciplinary case and uh, they propose that we do spank, we sometimes, and, and that's why you visit any school right now, you must realize that there is a very robust uh, guiding and counseling team. We sit down with the student, with the parent, and the teacher. And now try to dissect uh, where is the root cause, where is the problem emanating from. Because, uh, honestly speaking, uh, beating a child only makes him quite incorrigible. You mentioned this right at the beginning of your interview where you were saying you remember the days yes, when you were a yes, child when, yes, getting these. We were beaten. In fact, school. I remember one of the teachers, we used to call him Jeshi. Uh, the discipline, uh, uh, we used to, we actually gave him a title, uh, the platoon commander. You see him and you freeze. You know, th that kind of relationship where you see a teacher as a source of authority, as a disciplinarian, as a, somebody who can make pain and, and, and uh, punishment to you. What kind of relationship do you want with mm -hmm. your student? You have to bring closer your students to you, that proximity between the teacher and the student, so that you can administer teaching and learning. A teaching and learning environment uh, 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 process cannot occur in an environment where a student is felt intimidated and through spanking and, uh, and, and all other uh, form of cruelty. Even animals, you don't just beat a dog like that. So I think uh, I, I, as a teacher, I want to uh, uh, congratulate, uh, first of all, the Teacher Service Commission and a lot of our sober teachers who have come all this way. We have realized that uh, even when we were beaten so mercilessly by our teachers in the past, it, it, it never, you can take an example of your own daughter or son, the more you beat him or her, the more he creates what we call in psychology adaptation. So what? Mom just spanked me and that is it. 
Um, one of the things that I, I did want to ask you about that was just that what we what we hearing the argument is that well when you remember what you mentioned now of, yes, of yes. children being yeah, having meeting. this form of discipline at school they yeah. were more disciplined where the the argument is now saying that we've lost that what do you say to I, that I think uh, if you did ask my very honest opinion I would say that uh, the discipline levels have. Uh, uh, degenerated not because of co corporal punishment. There are so many other factors that have contributed to the degeneration of, of uh, 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 discipline levels in our schools. Things such as uh, the use of uh, uh, access to uh, social media, things such as lack of role models, things such as uh, um, uh, not clear uh, mentors in the, in the society and all that. But I can tell you that uh, most likely we just feared the system that when I do this, I shall receive 12 uh, strokes of the cane. Maybe uh, the, the, the discipline levels uh, right now as we speak among our students has emanated not because they are being caned, but because of a very free, independent society that we even as teachers must be cognizant of the fact that there are so many factors now, even outside of the school environment. And uh, some of the, teach, uh, the parents, I want, and, and I'm happy that you mentioned uh, the, the, the parents, uh, when parents do not take their responsibility of parentage, there is the actual biological parent where you are given the ability to give a, a birth to a child. But there is now the parentage bit of it, which most of our parents in Africa and I think uh, in Europe and all over, they have relegated the duty of parentage to teachers, which is quite unfortunate. We spent a quarter uh, we spent three quarters of the year duration with students in school. They only spent a quarter of the year duration at home. And right now we are almost closing schools uh, for the December uh, holidays. You will hear a lot of uh, complaints back at home. So we think as teachers there's also issues emanating from home where most of the parents have relegated the duty of parentage to schools. They are busy into uh, businesses and, uh, and other ventures. Uh, you go to the universities, they have gone back to do their PhD. They are doing all manner of things that will add value to their lives. But they are not realizing that they have a child to take care of. And that's why you see all manner of shenanigans in terms of behavior within our students coming up. Thank you so much for joining us, Satoa. Yes. It was good having you.